Welcome to Throwback Thursday, where I play a game that I've already reviewed in the past. And uh, this week I'm going to be doing a request from Subterranean Retro Games, who asked me to play Spider Fighter on the Atari 2600. It's a very simple game, it's just a, you know, a, a shoot. What? Oh, alright, I gotta make it some a change here. Uh, I think this is what I want. Yeah, I want the... I don't want the fixed shooting. I want to be able to, uh... Fire and move without having the bullets in the same trajectory. I'm gonna start over again. Because I, uh... I did not like... How that was going. I already, you know, fucked up once or twice. Yeah, just a, you know, there's not a lot to this. It's just, you know, shoot what's above you. But it's a very fast paced. And generally fun. You know, it's like a. It is what it is. But it's, you know, one of those, uh, you, you can't go wrong with Activision, you, generally speaking. <clears throat> uh, in, in, at least in this era. This was, I don't know if I really... I don't know if I really could say there was an, you know, like there was a... A developer or, or uh, that put out more quality... Than Activision did on this console. And there goes a life. I mean, you know, aside from there not being a lot, like, you know, like there's no power-ups or special attacks or anything like that, it's, you know, um, the same can be said for the enemies, too, like, they generally just, uh, like, you know, the aliens and the spider, uh, monsters that weave around back and forth. And fire, uh, projectiles down back at you in some cases, so... In some cases, they, they, you know, they all attack you that way. This is weird. It's like, it looks like I'm partially in black and white mode. Wow, I can't believe I did not get hit once from that. There were a lot of bullets coming at me. I've not had one piece of fruit taken from me yet. That's, like, what they're after, me. You can get a lot of them killed off right away early on if you kind of camp out over by the left. Oh, okay. I almost took the first one. Yeah, you don't want. Uh, yeah, you don't want to lose lives. I guess that's the other element of this game is the is the fruit. You know, like they they steal your crops. I don't really remember what the plot was. I didn't have, uh, I didn't have too many of the manuals, uh, of the 2600 games that I owned. Not that you really needed them in a lot of cases, but, you know, it, it dressed things up a little bit. If you knew what was supposed to be going on or what a lot of things were. But I liked having to make up, uh, you know my own identity for whatever these characters are, or creatures, or robots, or monsters, or whatever the hell, you know, these things are in these, uh, in, in these games. I'm trying to think of an example. Well, I mean, uh, I guess what I go back to is the, the most is, uh, is Pac-Man, uh, on Atari. I would refer to the, the fruit that was 
I forgot what they called it in the manual. They, they changed the name because they couldn't, you know, or they didn't uh, come up with a sprite that really looked like fruit. So some kind of a block, and I always called it cheese. Nice, and now we're up to bananas. Those, those actually look a lot like the Miss Pac-Man bananas. All right, now we're starting to uh, get some uh, stuttering at really fast pace here. But I think, you know, the reason why I called it the cheese was because it was, uh, you know, just eating slices of American cheese was one of my go-to snacks at the time. It's rapid-fire time now. Pretty much got it because they're dropping them pretty heavily themselves. Trying to get to two, uh, twenty thousand. It's kind of like what my current uh, goal is. Up, oh, that didn't help. Ah. Oh. oh man, that 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 uh, whatever the hell it is, that purple one is dropping them really fast on that one. Yeah, when they get down low, it's like, what the, you know, you're just pretty much guessing. You're just mashing the fire button and just weaving around aimlessly. More or less. Wow. That spider was dropping them heavy. Alright, only another uh, 400, 500... 460 points, some shit like that. Alright, I'm getting there. Come on. Oh, no! Is that it? Oh, oh, I was 60 points shy of, uh, of, of 20,000. You know what, I'm just gonna do a quick, uh, I just wanna see them take one of the fruits away. Just to, just to, just to, just to get, like, a, just to get a shot of that. I don't really remember what happens. If they, you know, I'm sure that all that happens is they just, it goes away and that's the end of it. But alright, take the other ones away. Like, is it a game over there? I don't really remember. I just know that you don't want it to happen. Alright, there goes number two. One more orange. Go ahead. It's only that one, too, that, like... Spaceship-looking one. Alright, yeah, so that's it. Um, Yeah, that was the end of the game. So, uh, that's Spider Fighter uh, on Atari 2600. If you have any requests for future episodes, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, and that's pretty much it. I will see you next week.